Assume that a sharp-edged type of orifice is being used to drain a six-foot-tall storage tank that contains water and is completely full. The outlet of the tank is open to the atmosphere. The orifice's flow coefficient, Cv, is 0.98, and the coefficient of contraction, Cc, is 0.62. The orifice is two feet in diameter, and its invert is one foot above the bottom of the tank. What is the discharge out of the tank in CFS? So this is another problem that will solve for flow rate using the equation that includes the discharge coefficient of an orifice. We can see that we are given the flow coefficient CV and the coefficient of contraction CC, but really we need CD. However, we can find that easily either calculating it from CC times CV or pulling CD directly from the reference manual. The second factor we need to make sure we get correctly is H, the height of the fluid above the orifice. This is going to come from the height of the water in the tank, the height of the orifice in the tank, and the center line of the orifice based on the orifice diameter. So let's get solving. So our equation for the discharge using the coefficient of discharge is Q equals CD times the area of the orifice times the square root of two times G times H. So first we need to pick the correct CD. So going to page 323 of the reference manual, we can see that a sharp edged type orifice has a CD of 0.61 and 2 is the orifice height. So the orifice height as we wrote out here we can draw real fast just to make sure this makes sense. So if this is one foot above the bottom and the orifice, let's make that a little bigger, is two feet in diameter and the height of the water is five feet and the center line through the two foot orifice is well two divided by one it's going to give us one. Oh, sorry that's six foot tall not five six feet so we would have six feet minus one foot minus two over two. Wow, I really am not getting my denominators correct today. Okay, anyway, that's going to give us h equals four feet. And now all we have to do is plug all of our knowns into the equation. So we can say q equals 0 0.61 times the area of the orifice. Let's calculate that real fast. AO equals pi d squared over four equals pi two feet squared over four equals 3.14 feet squared. So 3.14 feet squared times, I can already tell I'm going to take up too much space, so let me just move that down, times the square root of two times 32.2 feet per second, feet per second squared times four feet for our height. And if we calculate this out, we should get a flow rate of about 
30.74 feet cube per second or CFS. And that's closest to our answer of 31 here. Now, depending on if we had picked another CD by accident or had incorrectly calculated for a different height, we may have gotten one of these other answers. So those were the two things that were important in this problem. And the rest of it was just a simple calculation once you had those figured out. And that's it.